Welcome back, everybody. Well, we have a fun, quick, easy recipe that I think your family will absolutely love. You can throw it together in no time. Angie is here. Uh, she is the mom of twin boys. How old are they? Almost three. So you're busy. Yes, we're very <laughs> two, busy. Two dogs, too, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> Including a new puppy and yes. runs a neat business on Broadway in Green Bay. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, DIY studio. It's just an art and craft studio where we teach classes. And if you want to learn to knit, crochet, glass fuse, metal stamp, we're your girls. So we teach kids classes, too, and do birthday parties. We have a blending bar, so you can blend your own perfume and fragrance. I've been to that, and that's really, really neat. Yeah. Um, but so, like, if you've always wanted to learn how to do something, mm -hmm. you, you'll, you'll teach them, huh? Oh, yeah. We've had people come in and say, I want to sew an apron, but I don't know how to sew. And within an hour to two, we've got an apron done. God, it's so cool, because I think we all have that bucket list. You know, winter oh, yeah. is so long, and if you can't get away, you know, do something like that for yourself. Yeah. You know, get some girlfriends together. Uh, my daughter knits. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I've always wanted to learn. So I'll have to come take one of the we classes. Can teach you. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, time to do some cooking now. That's one thing I do. Um, these are bean and rice chimneys that you yes. say your boys love. They love. My husband loves. It's one of those meals that is just super quick to throw together and good for you. So Sounds good to me. Okay, we're going to start with we've got a can of refried beans, yep. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, and then go ahead. You can, too, like if I know I'm going to be making these in the week, I do the refried beans in the slow cooker, and then I just use those. Oh, too. you make the homemade ones? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, that just takes it up a notch, but when you're in a hurry, nothing better than the can. Yeah, so. exactly. And then just a can of drained Rotel. You don't have to drain it all the way through, but, you know, get some of the extra liquid off okay. there. Okay, and those are just the basically diced tomatoes with green chilies. Exactly. They've got some great flavor. So. Uh, one can of beans and one can of drained Rotel tomatoes. That doesn't get much easier than that. We're nope. just going to heat these because it'll spread easier. Is mm -hmm. that what that's all about? Yep, okay. you just heat that through. And um, it has a little bit of spice to it. You don't actually need to season anything due to the Rotel. It, it has enough flavor. Okay, so. okay. Um, but once we get that heated through, then we just layer that onto our flour tortilla. And you've cooked some rice, so yep. um, this is just white rice. You could use brown rice, doesn't matter, yep. right? This is another thing I like to do ahead of time when I get home from the grocery store is just make up some rice if I know I'm going to be doing fried rice or these. Um, Spanish rice during the week. That way it's already done and just goes that much quicker the day of. I think that's a great idea. Or if you're making it for one meal, make yep. a little extra so you can turn it into something else for another meal. Exactly. So. Okay, so down over the flour tortillas goes mm -hmm. some of the cooked rice, and then yep. we've got some of the bean and tomato mixture. Yep. About like that? That's or, perfect. Okay. And then we just take our shredded Monterey mm. and spread that on top here. And I'm heating a little bit of oil mm -hmm. in a, a pan, so I'm watching how you fold that. Fold in, and then if you can kind of grab the sides there and bring that in too when you roll. And then I like to make sure seam side goes down okay. into the oil. And hopefully this oil, yep, is it hot enough? Yep. Okay, perfect. And then once it gets in there, just uh, pretty quickly, huh? Pretty quick. And then we just flip it so that both sides get nice and crisp. You can heat them in the oven, too. A lot of times if we're finishing something up, we just pop them in the oven. They get even crispier and better. So. Okay. So if you got, um, you know, you start in a, uh, frying and then, and then finish them yep. in the oven? Okay. A lot of time I'll, f I'll get this far during nap time, and then I'll pop them in the oven right before bed or right before dinner. That's a great idea. Yeah. Or if you've got leftovers. Exactly. And you pop them in the oven. Oh, and they do freeze well. Oh, good to know. I yep. like that. They freeze really well. And you could do a variation of this instead of the rice. Do some scrambled eggs with the beans and Rotel, and then you'd have a nice breakfast burrito. Grilled veggies, whatever you want. And the boys, I mean, kids like this because they can pick them up with their hands uh -huh. and, you know, really fun. So just a few minutes on each side, basically. Yep. What are we looking for? Just to, just to get a little nice crispy? and golden. Okay, all right. And then when we serve these, do you serve them with uh, anything like a salsa or sour cream? Yep, or we guacamole? always do salsa and sour cream, um, chips. Sometimes I do the Spanish rice, which is very popular in our house, too. Yeah, so. that is, this is delicious. I can hardly wait to do this at home and quick mm -hmm. and easy. I mean, mm -hmm. really, it doesn't get much e easier than this. Really inexpensive, too. I mean, you're using white rice, beans, rotel, and tortillas. Love so it, it's love it. We're going to finish these up. Angie's going to stick around. What do we do next time? Root beer fudge cake. Ooh. Well, that sounds yeah. uh, really good. <laughs> we'll be back. Stay with us.